Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Vivo Move 3S and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up because you can set it up without uh, pairing it with a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue. First thing you will need to do is to turn on the watch and to turn it on simply uh, plug it to a charger. And once you plug it to a charger, it will turn on automatically. And after the watch turns on, you will see the hello message on the screen. Tap on the screen right here to open the list of languages. Now scroll through the list of languages, find the language you would like to use. Once you find it, tap on it to select it. As you can see, now we have this option per now and we can tap on it to enter the pairing mode. And once the watch is in the pairing mode, we can go to our iPhone and make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, uh, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on the search icon, then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Garmin Connect. And then on the list of apps, find the Garmin Connect, tap on it, tap on the uh, get button to download and install the app and wait until the app is done installing. And once the application is done installing, tap on open uh, to open it. And in the application, uh, you may see the pop-up about the Bluetooth. If you see it, tap on allow. And then, uh, as you can see, we need to log in into a, a Garmin uh, account. So, uh, if you don't have an account, create a new one by tapping on create account. But if you have an account, tap on sign in, check the box and then tap on next, enter the email address and password. Then tap next to log in. And after you log in, your app should start searching for the nearby devices. Also, you may see the pop up about the notifications. This is useful if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. I'm going to allow it. And as you can see, the app detected our watch and we can tap on connected. Enter the pin from the watch. Then tap on pair. And once you see this pop up again, you can allow or deny the permission for the notifications. On this page, tap next. Here we can set up a uh, bedtime. This is useful if you want to use the do not disturb mode during sleep. So if you want to mute the notifications while you're sleeping and you can set up the bedtime by tapping on bedtime, set the time on, your, on which you go to bed, then the wake time to set the time on which you uh, wake up. And once you're done, you can tap on next. And if you want to turn on the do not disturb mode, tap on yes. If you don't care, you can tap on no. Next, we have the preferred wrist. And here we have the preferred watch face. Select the one like, and tap next. And here we can set some goals uh, for the uh, steps, elevation and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on keep default goals to keep them default, but you can also tap on edit goals and here you can uh, change these values for your, to your liking, basically you can adjust them. And once you're done, uh, you can tap on next. And uh, right here, app is asking us to, to asking us to allow the uh, calendar permission. This is useful if you want to see a, maybe events on your calendar pop up on your watch, basically get the notifications. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow the uh, calendar access, tap on allow full access and then tap on allow full access. Next, we have the location permission. This is useful for the local weather, uh, tracking your activities on the map and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. If you want to allow it, tap on allow and then tap on allow and then tap next. Sync now. Finish. You can go through the tutorial how to use the watch. I'm just going to tap on skip. Tap dismiss here and you should see the home page. And now you can tap on more uh, Garmin devices and you should see your Vivo Move 3S on the list. You can tap on it to open the device page, which means that the devices are uh, paired together. 
So that's how you pair it through the setup process. Now I'm gonna uh, remove it. Let me try to wake up the screen on it. Okay, skip this. Okay. So, uh, let's disconnect it from our iPhone. Okay. And now I'm gonna show you how to pair it through the settings after it's already set up. So, wake up the screen on your watch by tapping on it, double tapping on it. Then press and hold on the screen to open the menu. Once the menu opens, swipe left or right on the screen to scroll through it and find the uh, phone icon, this one, with the Bluetooth. Once you find this icon, tap on it. Tap on the uh, phone with the Bluetooth icon again, so scroll, find this icon, tap on it, and the watch will enter the pairing mode. Now you can download and install the app, but if you have it already installed, open it, um, and then we can tap on more, Garmin devices, tap on add new device, tap on connect it, and it's gonna basically, now we can proceed with the connection and it's the same as we did before. So enter the pin, tap on pair, allow order 90 permission for the notifications, Tap next, set up the bedtime, preferred wrist, watch face, goals, and the sync now. Finish, go through the tutorial or skip. No thanks, got it. And if you tap on more uh, Garmin devices, your watch should be here, which means that devices are paired together. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.